Of course, most people employed today recognize that we have illegal citizens that come into America and they are illegal citizens because they've come here either lawfully on some sort of student ship or unlawfully by slipping through our borders and they need the truth of any adult experiences that they need to have work and wage and basically be able to keep their life with the three S's of shelter, sustenance, and service. But what we mean in shelter is they have to have a place to live, generally speaking. And what we know in sustenance is they have to have food to eat. And what we understand about service is that you barely make a living if you don't know how to serve people today. But what you are lawfully responsible for as an employee and as a citizen that is lawfully born in America is that we must protect American borders for the people from the people who are working illegally. Your company can not only get totally sanctioned and lose its entire business if they hire illegal aliens without proper work authorization, which is actually a special uh, situation that is given by our government, which most people in America don't know, and most citizens who are international don't show. But they openly have to have a green card, which is sort of a stupid way of talking about it today. But also they have to, usually, if they're some sort of student from a foreign nation, they must also have a work authorization card from their university. That is a separate ID that shows their properly applied for social security number on the... Uh, content of that card. Now, most people don't know this. Most people say, I don't care what they do. But the truth is, it could end up on you or your manager who hired them if they don't do this. At the same time, we know that there are children of foreign lands and children who are here lawfully that change their Chinese name or change their Arabic name or change their entire name to try to become invisible in our society. Many times Chinese names are changed to something more Americanized, like Jackie Chan's name, for example, to make it easier for us to say. I doubt he was born with the name Jackie, but I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I read his biography, which is a great read, incredible story, and amazing how he turned out, despite his being sold to a, what they used to call a Chinese circus troupe. But anyway, by his parents, who couldn't pay for him his life. Uh, and the experiences he dealt with his quote-unquote brothers and the bashing they gave him to produce his new life. But what I'm talking about, of course, is the immoralness of you to not care. Because we do have to be on the lookout and on the caution for the Muslims and the people from the Middle East that will take on a Hispanic first name and last name to look Hispanic. We also have to be very careful of those people who also have been trying to go into black communities, take on black hairstyles, black clothing, and slip into society as if they are not who they are. On top of that, we have to pay attention to the immorals who believe underneath their Catholic or Muslim or pagan religion that they have the right to kill in order to have a life somewhere outside of their impoverished nation. So that's something that should be on your mindset when you're going shopping or trying new cultural foods someplace. You also have to be on the lookout for your own life and that you work on a regular basis in a store, but you take it for granted you're driving there, walking there, busing there, and not paying attention to people who might be around you who recognize you and have been in and out of your store multiple times to the point that they might be following you home to ascertain their opportunities to take over your lives. 